On this feature of 5-Minute Neurology, we're going to tackle the differential diagnosis of thunderclap headache. This is a presentation that is sometimes seen on the inpatient stroke service or in the emergency department. The most common item on most people's differential is the subarachnoid hemorrhage. This is a bleed into the subarachnoid space, usually caused by herbary aneurysm. Risk factors for this include smoking, hypertension, alcohol use, a family history of subarachnoid hemorrhage or polycystic kidney disease, and sometimes even connective tissue disorders like Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Signs and symptoms include thunderclap headache, meningismus, photophobia, and nausea and vomiting. Diagnosis is usually made by non-contrast CT. If this is negative, you should usually follow this up with an LP. The exception to this is if you can get your patient into the CT scanner within six hours of thunderclap headache onset. In this case, the sensitivity of the CT would approach 98 to 99%. For treatment, you can refer to neurosurgery for a possible clipping or coiling of the aneurysm, but in the emergency department, you can initiate nemotipine to prevent vasospasm or antihypertensives to prevent rebleeds or both. Secondly, there's the possibility of cerebral venous thrombosis, which is a clot in the intracranial venous circulation. Risk factors for this include malignancy, pregnancy and postpartum period, and any inborn hypercoagulable states. Signs and symptoms include thunderclap headache, blurred vision, sometimes even seizures or coma, and stroke. The diagnosis has to be made with a venogram. This can be a CT or MR venogram, but you have to specifically request this on your radiology requisition. Treatment involves anticoagulation, usually this is heparin. Reversible cerebral vasoconstriction syndrome, or RCVS, is a reversible intracranial vasospasm. Risk factors include alcohol use, any stimulants, but especially cocaine, any decongestants such as pseudoephedrine, and hypercalcemia. Signs and symptoms include thunderclap headache, and sometimes this can also present with stroke. The diagnosis is made by CT angiogram, where you will see the characteristic beads on a string appearance of the vessel. You can also order a CT and or MRI as a stroke sequence if you suspect that stroke is existing concurrently with this. For treatment, you give verapamil. The cervicocephalic arterial dissection is any false lumen that is created within the cervicocephalic arteries. This predisposes to both ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke. Risk factors include any head or neck trauma, including chiropractic manipulation, any neck hyperextension, which you would sometimes see during motor vehicle accidents, and possibly connective tissue disorders and infection. Signs and symptoms would include thunderclap headache and neck pain. This is diagnosed by CT angiogram and treated with either single or dual antiplatelet therapy or anticoagulation. The evidence is still a little shaky on whether antiplatelet or anticoagulation is the superior approach here. Pituitary apoplexy is a bleed or infarction of the pituitary gland, which is usually due to a tumor. Risk factors include trauma or surgery, hypertension, coagulopathies, pregnancy, and estrogen therapy. Signs and symptoms include thunderclap headache, sudden vision changes, and nausea or vomiting. Within the first 12 hours, CT is the superior diagnostic modality, and after this, you should order an MRI. Treatment involves hydrocortisone, which is a corticosteroid. This acts to replace um, the missing corticosteroids and treats any secondary adrenal insufficiency and any hemodynamic instability that comes along with that. You can also consider consulting neurosurgery for a decompression. Posterior reversible encephalopathy syndrome, or PRESS, is an encephalopathy that is caused by severe hypertension and can sometimes be the presenting complaint for eclampsia. Risk factors include uncontrolled hypertension, pregnancy, lupus, hemolytic uremic syndrome, or thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. Signs and symptoms include confusion, thunderclap headache. Diagnosis is made by T2-weighted MRI, and the treatment is to treat the underlying cause, which in pregnancy would be to deliver the fetus. Spontaneous intracranial hypotension is low intracranial CSF pressure, usually due to a leak um, at the spinal levels of the dura. Risk factors include being female, and the pH of diagnosis is 40. Symptoms include thunderclap headache, and a headache that worsens when upright and improves when supine. You can also have nausea, neck pain, dizziness, and photophobia. Diagnosis is made by MRI brain, and usually these self-resolve with fluids. If not, you could do an epidural blood patch. 
A benign thunderclap headache is a diagnosis of exclusion and usually has clear triggers like exercise or sexual intercourse. Treatment is purely symptomatic. 